In this video, we'll talk about why set.has is better than array.find and why we should use it. If you like this tutorial, make sure to subscribe to the channel because it motivates me to make more videos. Now, we have this example here where I am mapping a list of users. And you can see here, there are five users. And this users array is being generated using faker.js. Now, let's consider that I have an array of verified user IDs and they are coming from the backend as well now in order to show that a user is verified i am using this array and i am using the find method to see if this particular user id of the user's array is present in the verified user's id array if that is present i'm showing this verified badge as you can see because there are only two ids in this particular uh, verified user ids only two badges are being shown now let's understand the concept of time complexity for this example time complexity is basically a phenomenon in which we say that in which basically we measure time corresponding to the size of the data structure now in this case we will only discuss o of n and o of 1 now o of n is basically linear time linear time is when the number of items increase the time taken to traverse through the data structure or do any sort of operation on the data structure increases as well so in this case you can see that the number of items is increasing and the time taking to traverse through the data structure or you know any other operation is also increasing as well however we also have another kind of time known as constant time now in constant time we can see that the number of items is increasing but the time taking to traverse through the array or you know whatever is constant so this means that even if the data structure is you know very huge with 50,000 items or 10,000 items or 100 items it doesn't matter the time which would take to traverse through that particular data structure or do any sort of operation would take constant time now arrays are linear data structures so anything you perform on arrays takes linear time so in this case i have five items in this array so if i map five items in this array it will take a certain amount of time. If this array has 50,000 items and I'm mapping those, this means that it is taking significantly more time. Similarly, in this case, I'm using the find method. We know that if you have to, you know, use find in a particular array, it has to traverse through the whole array. So this is also a linear time operation. Now, a better way to do this particular thing would be to use a set. Now, obviously, this particular thing cannot be changed because obviously we need an array to map the data into the ui we cannot do anything else however for this particular thing we can use set.has set.has is a constant time operation so it would take the same amount of time even if the verified user ids is an array of you know a thousand items or fifty thousand items to do that we will say new set we'll wrap this entire array into set instead of doing this i will just say new user ids dot has user dot id and now you can see that it has the same result but now it's significantly more fast and optimized that's it for the tutorial if you have any further request or any query you can comment down below as always like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye